The Mediterranean Sea holds an enduring role as a pivotal strategic location during times of conflict, providing access to Europe, Asia, and Africa. Amidst ongoing tensions in the Gulf region, particularly as Israel faces off against the Hamans, the Mediterranean has once again emerged as a focal point for global attention. In response to these escalating tensions, the United States has dispatched its most closely guarded asset, a multi-billion dollar secret aircraft carrier, to the region. This extraordinary aircraft carrier, the only one of its kind in the world, representing the pinnacle of military engineering and technology, has stunned the world, sending a clear message that the United States is fully prepared to defend its allies and interests in the region. What unique features and capabilities distinguish this billion-dollar secret aircraft carrier from other carriers in the world's naval arsenal? How has the deployment of this extraordinary aircraft carrier impacted the dynamics of the ongoing tensions in the Gulf region? Join us as we unveil the U.S. secret aircraft carrier that has shocked the world. The USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group, accompanied by cruisers and destroyers, has been ordered to the Eastern Mediterranean by Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin to be prepared for any situation. This deployment demonstrates American readiness for various scenarios, including surveillance and potential interdiction of weapon shipments to the region. Initial reports indicate that 27 American citizens have been confirmed dead in the ongoing Israel and Haman War, while some are still missing and unaccounted for. The U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem closely monitors the situation to ensure the safety and well-being of American citizens affected by the crisis. Diplomatic efforts led by Secretary of State Antony Blinken are ongoing to facilitate dialogue and emphasize the urgent need for de-escalation. And in the meantime, the deployment of USS Gerald R. Ford is a strategic move to help relax the tension in that region. The USS Gerald R. Ford's journey began with a $2.7 billion contract in 2005, followed by a significant $5.1 billion contract with Northrop Grumman Shipbuilding in Newport News, Virginia, in 2008. Construction was carried out at the Huntington Ingalls Newport News Shipbuilding facilities in Virginia, with a symbolic keel-laying moment on November 14, 2009, led by Susan Ford Bales, daughter of President Gerald R. Ford, who honored her father's legacy. The carrier's emblem resulted from a collaboration between the ship's sponsor and its first commanding officer, Captain John F. Meyer. Construction milestones were achieved rapidly, with the carrier being halfway structurally complete by August 2011, reaching 75% completion by April 2012 and 87% by November 2012. The island, a prominent superstructure on the carrier's flight deck, was installed on January 26, 2013. The final superlift was put in place on May 7, 2013, marking 100% structural completion and celebrated with the sealing of a time capsule on July 11, 2013. Production setbacks led to a postponed launch in October 2013 with the naming ceremony following in November. Construction costs had risen to $12.8 billion by 2013, and by September 2015, testing delays had pushed the delivery date to April or May 2016. Construction was reported at 93% completion at this point. Issues with four major flight systems further delayed the ship's combat readiness, leading to a new anticipated delivery in November 2016. By March 2018, construction costs had escalated to $13.27 billion, making the Gerald R. Ford the most expensive warship ever built. Delivery to the Navy was postponed by three months, with a new delivery date set for October 2019. The USS Gerald R. Ford completed its initial operational test and evaluation in April 2017, followed by its inaugural voyage for builder's trials between April 8th and April 14th. Acceptance trials occurred between May 24 and May 26, 2017. Shock trials were initially postponed, 
but on June 18, 2021, the carrier completed its first comprehensive shock trial off the Florida coast, followed by subsequent tests in July and August, signaling their successful conclusion. This is a nuclear-powered, boasting two nuclear reactors, each weighing over a thousand tons. These reactors endow the ship with exceptional longevity, giving it the potential to power an entire city without interruption. Nestled within its core are its two Bechtel A1B nuclear reactors, which generate a staggering 700 megawatts of power, equivalent to an astounding 952,000 horsepower, or nearly 2 million horsepower, through its pair of colossal electric motors. Each motor is equivalent in size to four pickup trucks stacked together, generating power equivalent to 1.5 million horsepower. However, due to its immense size, the carrier is incapable of nimbly skimming across the water like a race car. With a deck spanning 1,100 feet in length, 260 feet in width, towering at a height of 245 feet, and weighing 100,000 tons, the USS Gerald R. Ford claims the title of the largest aircraft carrier globally enabling it to support various aircraft, helicopters, and UAVs, including state-of-the-art fifth-generation fighter jets. On this aircraft carrier is a Mark 15 Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, an unmistakable symbol of excellence within anti-aircraft artillery systems. Its illustrious reputation is well-earned, as it proudly boasts a remarkable rate of fire, capable of discharging an astounding 4,500 rounds per minute and an initial projectile velocity reaching an impressive 3,600 feet per second. In inoffensive engagements, the phalanx orchestrates a relentless ballet of projectiles, evoking the precision and swiftness of a laser-like performance. Notably, the USS Gerald R. Ford has a forward-looking weapon system, Lockheed Martin's Law's Shipboard Laser System. This state-of-the-art system draws formidable power from the aircraft carrier's nuclear reactor, enabling a sustained offensive against hostile aircraft and missiles at a substantial distance of three miles. The laser's devastating potency is sufficient to hinder aircraft electronics or obliterate projectiles approaching the USS Gerald R. Ford. In scenarios necessitating not only the incapacitation, but also the destruction of adversary aircraft, the RIM-116 assumes a pivotal role in the carrier's formidable arsenal. The gun system presents an aesthetic akin to a creation from the realms of science fiction, with a magazine housing 20 missiles each endowed with the capacity to intercept targets at an impressive range of six miles, hurtling at a formidable flight speed of more than 2,200 miles per hour. At the heart of the USS Gerald R. Ford resides its formidable airstrike group, a harmonious ensemble comprising 90 fighters and helicopters. This airstrike group has been meticulously assembled to ensure the carrier's readiness and effectiveness during its missions. Notably, in anticipation of the carrier's deployment to the Mediterranean, the Pentagon made strategic enhancements to this already powerful complement. These additions included squadrons of F-35, F-15, F-16 fighters, and A-10 attack aircraft, all of which have found a home within the expansive confines of the carrier. Each of these aircraft brings its unique capabilities and strengths to the USS Gerald R. Ford, collectively posing a considerable threat to potential adversaries and reinforcing the carrier's combat capabilities. One standout member of this airstrike group is the F-35, a versatile family of single-engine, supersonic, and stealth multi-role fighters. It has made a significant impact on modern air combat capabilities and is regarded as a milestone in aviation technology. As the second fifth-generation fighter to enter U.S. service and the first operational supersonic short takeoff and vertical landing stealth fighter, the F-35 boasts many impressive features contributing to its effectiveness in various mission scenarios. One of the key design elements of the F-35 is its emphasis on low observability, advanced avionics, and sensor fusion. These qualities provide the aircraft with a high level of situational awareness and long-range lethality. 
the United States Air Force has designated the F-35 as its primary strike fighter for suppressing enemy air defense missions, thanks to its advanced sensors and mission systems. The F-35 has a distinct wingtail configuration with two vertical stabilizers canted for stealth, and it incorporates various flight control surfaces, including leading-edge flaps, flaperons, rudders, and all-moving horizontal tails. The design of the wingspan of the F-35A and F-35B is relatively short at 35 feet to meet the requirement for fitting inside USN amphibious assault ship parking areas and elevators. In contrast, the F-35C features a larger wing for improved fuel efficiency. The aircraft's engines are powered by the Pratt & Whitney F-135 low-bypass augmented turbofan, delivering strong thrust, especially when using an afterburner. The extensive use of composites, comprising 35% of the airframe weight, contributes to its stealth and overall durability. The internal weapons bays eliminate drag from external stores and provide a top speed of Mach 1.6, enhancing its combat range and versatility. The F-35's mission systems include cutting-edge sensors and avionics, such as the Northrop Grumman AN-APG-81 ASA radar, BAE systems AN-ASQ-239 Barracuda electronic warfare system, and Lockheed Martin AN-AAQ-40 electro-optical targeting system. These systems enhance the pilot's situational awareness and command and control capabilities. One of the most noteworthy aspects of the F-35 is its unique helmet-mounted display system. It provides flight and combat information directly on the pilot's visor, allowing them to maintain situational awareness even when looking away from the aircraft's nose. Additionally, the HMDS facilitates off-boresight missile launches, making it a vital component for air combat. The F-35's stealth capabilities are achieved through meticulous design, radar-absorbent materials, and innovative features like the diverterless supersonic inlet. Its radar cross-section has been compared to a metal golf ball at certain frequencies and angles, making it highly effective at avoiding detection. The F-35 and F-16 are highly esteemed fighter aircraft, each showcasing unique capabilities that play pivotal roles in modern air combat. The F-35 is recognized for its impressive flexibility in carrying various air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weapons in its internal bays and on external wing stations. This adaptability allows the F-35 to excel in mission profiles, including close air support and suppressing enemy air defenses. With its advanced avionics and sensor fusion, it provides a high level of situational awareness making it a versatile asset in contemporary air combat scenarios. On the other hand, the F-16, a fourth-generation fighter, has earned its reputation as a pinnacle in its own right. The F-16 is a single-engine, supersonic, multi-role tactical fighter aircraft that has redefined air combat with its advanced aerodynamics and avionics. It boasts the first use of a relaxed, static, stability, fly-by-wire flight control system, enabling exceptional maneuverability. Highly agile and capable of 9G maneuvers, the F-16 can reach speeds exceeding Mach 2. It offers features like a frameless bubble canopy, a side-mounted control stick, and a reclined seat for pilot comfort. Armed with an internal M61 Vulcan cannon and multiple hardpoints for missiles, bombs, and pods, the F-16 is a versatile platform. It's designed to be cost-effective and easy to maintain, using a mix of aluminum alloys, steel, composites, and titanium in its airframe. Notably, it was engineered for a structural life of 8,000 flight hours and 9G maneuvers. The F-16's aerodynamics feature a cropped delta wing with vortex lift, four-body vortex control strakes, and a fixed geometry underslung air intake. It combines these elements to maximize agility and high angles of attack. The aircraft has a quadruplex fly-by-wire system that provides precise control during high-G maneuvers. Inside the cockpit, the F-16 offers unmatched visibility with a bubble canopy and reclined seat, 
It features hands-on throttle and stick controls and multifunction displays for pilot convenience. The aircraft is fitted with fire control radar, with modern variants featuring advanced active electronically scanned array radars. The A-10 Thunderbolt II, affectionately known as the Warthog, is a powerful symbol of the formidable firepower within American aviation. Its primary mission is close air support, offering invaluable air cover to ground forces through its remarkable GU-8 Avenger cannon, capable of discharging an impressive 3,900 rounds per minute. This aircraft's capabilities remind us of the strength and support provided by American aviation. In a similar vein, the USS Gerald R. Ford, the state-of-the-art aircraft carrier, also stands out for its extensive and formidable armament. Beyond its impressive weaponry, the carrier features unique equipment, including a specialized cable landing system to accommodate helicopters. This system is crucial for helicopters like the Apache, which require vertical landings. It ensures a secure landing on the carrier's deck, even in challenging conditions with turbulent wave activity. Moreover, the USS Gerald R. Ford's exceptional design incorporates an expansive and unobstructed deck. This design significantly enhances the efficiency and safety of both takeoffs and landings, creating an environment that promotes secure and efficient flight operations. The carrier has elevators that simplify raising and lowering aircraft and other equipment. Each elevator has an impressive capacity, capable of hoisting loads weighing up to 65 tons, and the carrier boasts three of these elevators. This sophisticated infrastructure demonstrates the carrier's commitment to facilitating smooth and efficient air operations, complementing the prowess of the A-10 Thunderbolt II in providing crucial air support on the ground. Below the upper deck, an auxiliary deck evoking the dimensions of a substantial parking facility comes into view, and it serves as a secure refuge for an array of elite warplanes. This space also allows for the concealed presence of stealth bombers, such as the B-21 Raider, poised to execute swift and devastating strikes against potential adversaries. Furthermore, the USS Gerald R. Ford benefited greatly from the company of stalwart companions during its voyages. The Gerald Ford Carrier Strike Group, known as Carrier Strike Group 12, is a formidable naval formation consisting of several key components that work together harmoniously. At the core of the formidable USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group lies the Carrier Air Wing 8, a diverse and dynamic assembly of squadrons. These squadrons, including HSC-9, Tridents, HSM-70, Spartans, Vol-124, Bear Aces, VFA-37, Ragin' Bulls, VFA-213, Black Lions, VFA-87, Golden Warriors, VFA-31, Tomcatters, VQ-142, Grey Wolves, and VRC-40. Det 2 Rawhides each bring their unique set of aircraft and capabilities to the forefront. Their presence is pivotal in enhancing the combat readiness and versatility of the strike group, offering the USS Gerald R. Ford essential air support and offensive capabilities. To amplify the overall strength of the strike group, it is fortified by formidable surface combatants. These include the USS Normandy, USS Ramage, USS McFall, and USS Thomas Hudner, comprising a fleet of destroyers and cruisers, each equipped with advanced weaponry and systems. The significance of these accompanying fleets lies in their essential role in safeguarding the carrier. With destroyers, cruisers, and other surface combatants, ensuring the carrier's safety is paramount. Together they form a unified force that showcases the might of the American military and reinforces its strategic position on the global stage. Furthermore, these accompanying vessels extend the carrier's reach and power projection capabilities. They offer added firepower, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance capabilities, and logistical support. This expanded operational range empowers the carrier to undertake diverse missions and maintain a constant presence in various regions. Moreover, the fleet's presence provides the carrier with the flexibility to respond to a range of contingencies, from humanitarian assistance and disaster relief 
to combat operations. It delivers a multi-mission capability that is crucial in contemporary naval warfare. In essence, these fleets are the carrier strike groups, versatile and indispensable tools that maximize the effectiveness and security of aircraft carriers during their missions. The formidable fleet's presence in the Mediterranean Sea serves multiple crucial roles. Foremost among them is the unwavering support for a ceasefire, acting as a powerful and reassuring deterrence against escalating conflicts beyond the nation's borders, contributing to regional stability. The USS Gerald R. Ford's recent deployment to the Mediterranean Sea marks a significant milestone in its history. While the carrier had been involved in various operations, this mission was its first venture into a hostile area. Departing from Naval Station Norfolk on October 4, 2022, the carrier embarked on a task force exercise to conduct operations and training exercises alongside NATO allies and partners in the Atlantic Ocean. This strategic move underscores the carrier's pivotal role in supporting peace and stability in the region by showcasing a formidable American presence, which serves as a powerful deterrent against further conflicts. The carrier took it to Halifax Harbor in Nova Scotia, Canada, where it made its first port visit outside the United States. Subsequently, the ship arrived in the waters of the United Kingdom and later returned to Norfolk on November 26, 2022. In 2023, the USS Gerald R. Ford set sail on its first full-length deployment on May 3rd. Operating in the 2nd and 6th Fleet's area of responsibility, the carrier arrived just outside Oslo, Norway, for NATO exercises in May. During its journey, the ship was honored with a visit from Norway's Crown Prince Hakon. It is also scheduled to navigate towards the Arctic for further drills, and in June 2023, it reached the Mediterranean, anchoring in Split, Croatia, for crew rest. Notably, the carrier participated in naval exercises with the Italian Navy in the Ionian Sea in early October 2023, reinforcing its pivotal role in international maritime security. The USS Gerald R. Ford, despite their colossal size, can be vulnerable to instability on the water due to the dynamic forces of the sea. To address this challenge, the U.S. Navy has implemented various sophisticated systems and mechanisms. Ballast systems, stabilizers, and shock absorbers ensure the carrier maintains maximum stability during sea operations. These systems work together seamlessly to counteract the effects of rough seas and maintain a steady platform for aircraft operations. Furthermore, modern innovations like high-tech pneumatic fenders have been introduced to enhance the safety of ships, particularly while docked in port. These fenders provide vessels with the ability to detect potential threats, such as storms or rough seas, and to take swift measures to safeguard the ship, often by relocating to open waters, ensuring their protection and integrity. The USS Gerald R. Ford's game-changing capabilities are amplified by its accompanying fleets, underlining its pivotal role on the global stage. This extraordinary vessel, armed with advanced weaponry and a diverse fleet of aircraft, is setting new standards for military power projection. As the world watches closely, the carrier's presence reshapes the balance of power and security dynamics. It represents the United States' unwavering commitment to global peace and stability while providing a formidable deterrent to potential adversaries. This carrier showcases the nation's dedication to maintaining international security. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.